Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here and today I'm going to show you a quick tip how to stop Premiere from automatically selecting clips in the timeline. Okay, so right now when I scrub my playhead in the timeline, you'll notice that it's selecting every clip under the playhead. And the reason for this is because I've turned on Sequence Selection Follows Playhead. And of course, if you don't want this, you can just turn it off and I go back to being able to just scrub my playhead without making a selection. But what you may not know is this feature automatically gets turned on when you activate your Lumetri color panel. So I'll do that just by going up to my workspaces and turning on my color workspace. And you can see I've gone back to having selection follows playhead turned on. Now you might find this really useful if you need to color grade every clip in your timeline, it's going to automatically select it for you. But you might also find this really annoying if that's not what you're doing and you have to constantly go up to your sequence menu and turn this off. The good news is there's a secret way to stop Premiere from turning this on automatically. And to do that, we need to open up Premiere's hidden console window, which I'll do by pressing Command or Control F12. If you're on a laptop, you may need to add the function key to that. And then what I wanna do is go up to the context menu and turn on debug database view. And now we have a whole list of items that we can turn on or off. I'm just going to do a search in the search box for the word playhead and press enter. And this brings up color auto selection follows playhead. And then I'll uncheck this to set it to false. Now I'm going to close this panel and I'll switch back to my editing workspace. I'll make sure that sequence follows playhead is turned off, it is. And now if I switch over to my color workspace, selection follows playhead has not been turned on. And there it is, just a quick tip to stop Premiere from automatically selecting clips in your timeline. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.